Right, first things first. To get all the trophies in Champion Island games, none of the mini games have to be complete completed to earn the trophies. All of the trophies are actually earned by searching the island and talking to the different NPCs on the island. So let's get right into it. Super Mountain Rescue. So what you want to do is you want to head to up the mountain and turn to the uh, left and you'll see a snowy lodge. If you go inside there's a birthday party and uh, basically the mascot for the party, like essentially the, the clown of the party is missing. All you have to do is just head further up the mountain. Once accepting the quest, you'll find a bunny hiding behind a tree or dancing around behind a tree. Just talk to them. They'll automatically be convinced to join the uh, the party. Go back in, uh, talk to the party group, and you've got your first trophy. Hot Spring Savior. Right, the next one we're going to complete is actually quite important. For uh, There's two you want to complete right away, which uh, unlock a lot of the, the island. And the first one we want to do is the Hot Springs. So you're going to talk to the, the rabbit, who is the owner of the Hot Springs on the mountain. So you just go to the right side now instead of the left. And it'll say that one of Pakuro's snowballs has blocked the... Um, entrance to, to his hot springs and we need a fire hour to sort this out. So what you need to do then is once you've accepted the quest from the rabbit, you then go to the northwest docks and you need to go to the arrow shop to pick up your lava arrow or your fire arrow. But once you arrive, you realize that the uh, owner, the shop owner doesn't have all the components he needs. So we're gonna have to take a quick stop at Oni Island. You can use the warp to get there quicker if you want. And right in the center of the island, um, just above the, the castle or the temple, there's a, a lava bottle just sitting there. So you take that, you bring it back to the shop. Um, he builds the fire arrow for you, and then you, you can once you have the fire arrow from the, the shop owner, you can then go back to the mountain area on the right with the hot springs, talk to the rabbit, and you'll open up the um, hot springs. There's your second trophy complete. Once you've opened up the uh, hot springs uh, using the fire arrow you will then notice that you've actually unlocked uh, an, a bonus gate uh, level for the, the mountain area. I noticed that not every region has bonus gates but the mountain does does have an extra one for you to play if you like. Construction employee of the year. So for this one it's a very important quest if you can't get this done you'll end up with a lot of issues with all of your quests in terms of not being able to unlock half the island because unlocking Tanoki City is a vital aspect of the game and if you talk to one of the construction workers, there's actually two of them on the western side of the city talk to either one of them and you'll get a, a situation where you cannot access the city they're like working on it and they need some water and you're going to get that water from the hot springs so if you haven't completed the previous uh, quest I suggest you go back in the video and complete hot spring savior um, but if you have uh, melted the snowball and have access to the hot springs you just go up and there's going to be a water bottle, a bath water bottle, that is just going to be sitting there. And uh, yeah, just go back to the city, talk to any of the, either of the builders, you'll get your trophy and you'll unlock a huge portion of the city, which will also open more side quests. Gym Motivator. Right, going into the uh, opened up area of the city, you'll now have access to the gym, which you'll find is a small brown building. Um, yeah, you can't really miss it because it has a, a crab, you know, lifting a barbell on it. You go in and you talk to the, the bull, uh, the, the owner of the gym, and he'll redirect you to one of the uh, gym members who's been missing for a while. You'll pick him up in the noodle bar, which is also in Tanoki City, and you'll find the noodle bar itself uh, near the train station on the, uh, the, the right. Once you head in, you talk to the large cat in the corner, and he'll make a ton of excuses about why he cannot do exercise. And the first uh, thing we'll have to pick up are his runners, which will be on Marathon Beach. So once you've accepted the quest, the, be the, the, the runners will now be on the beach. So you go to the very end of the beach, pick them up, and then head back to the noodle bar. Once you're back in the noodle bar, talk to the cat. He'll then be looking for water. And this time, you'll actually go to one of the uh, several convenience stores in the game. This will actually be the only uh, only point in the game in which they serve a purpose. There's one directly underneath the noodle bar, so that's the one I've chosen in this case. You ask for water bo water bottles, there's no way you're getting them, they give you 10, whatever. And uh, yeah, so you go back to uh, the noodle bar then, and uh, give him the second part of the uh, quest, which is the water bottles. He'll then make an excuse about needing a bandana, and you just have to say you give him your bandana. Once you've done that, um, you'll find him in the gym. So he'll, he'll teleport to the gym, you can go there and talk to him, and once you've talked to him, you've completed the the quest and you've earned your trophy. Book Enthusiast! Okay, so for Book Enthusiast, once again we're at the train station. You see a very small, tucked away b building right beside the ticket office. So if we go in there, you see an unusual character, and he'll say that he's lost his book in the library. So accept the quest, go to the library, and a new item will appear there. Again, the, the library is just south of his house. 
and you'll find it on the right side there's a green booklet pick it up um, there's like a love letter in there anyway and then you can uh, go back to his little house say you found the book that's your that's your next trophy done no problem secret skate park membership right so this quest um, actually opens a gate as well as being an actual trophy quest so you'll notice there's a bull near the, uh, the moving train and in the north section of Tanuki City and he'll tell you that there is a exclusive skate park talk to him and he'll redirect you to the dojo to, uh, in the center of the, the city and you'll find a box in the left hand corner of the final room and he'll just blurt out the uh, the password for the secret park and once he's told you the, the the password you don't need to remember it go talk to the bull again you'll give him the correct password you've completed the trophy and you've unlocked uh, a new gate and actually a new region of the city because it's actually a completely new skate, port, skate, skate park to, as opposed to the original one and in this case it's a bit more rails based I actually consider it to be harder because the rails don't give you as much points as the jumps and Tanoki himself doesn't seem to appear as a bonus point feature as far as I can tell and yeah it's just an interesting area um, not something you need to visit for any of the games just a bonus level table tennis bat fetcher this uh, trophy is unbelievably easy just go straight to the very end of the, the beach, talk to the yellow fox, accept his quest to look for his bat, go to the other side of the beach all the way back, pick up his tennis racket, then go all the way back again and talk to him again and you've actually completed the trophy, you've, you've completed the quest, you've got the trophy. Marathon Babysitter. Okay, for this one you need to talk to the dad sitting in the center of the beach and he'll talk about having troubles with his uh, child and you play a little mini game of like chasing them around which is just finding them in three different locations. You find them right at the entrance of the beach, just near the gate, and uh, then they'll disappear. You then want to head back to the uh, secret tree in uh, the, the beach area. So that's again at the very end, and you head up to the north. And just hidden around the back of it, you'll find the girls for the second time. And then for the third or fi and final time, as you're just leaving the beach, there's some trees to the right, and she'll be up one of the trees, talk to her there. And then go back to the dad to finish the quest and get your trophy. Race tiebreaker. Now as a complete race tiebreaker, you've actually got to uh, complete Construction Employee of the Year in Tanoki City. So if you haven't done that already, go back and do it because you'll need access to the bakery. So first, go into the secret tree and talk to the uh, two people there who's, who are blocking the secret beach. So now we're going to go to, to Na Tanaki City. We're going to talk to the rabbit in the bakery. She'll offer you a, a cookie. Instead of eating it, save it for the quest. Once you've saved it for the quest, then go back to the beach. Talk to the two marathon runners. They'll accept the food offering and they'll calm down and they'll let you access through to the secret beach. And once you've done that, you've actually completed the trophy. But whilst we're on the beach, you also see that you've unlocked a new gate, a new mini, uh, a new version of the mini game. And also you see there's an unusual character sitting on the beach waiting for their um, their their partner or like, someone to meet them there. And that's, just, that's actually in relation to the book enthusiast quest, although the two never meet. And I suspect that the two of them are probably in relation to a um, other Google Doodle released by Google at some point. Artist's Apprentice. Now this one is actually very straightforward. You go to the first uh, hut on the beach and you talk to um, a, a carpenter who then is looking for driftwood for you to for them to build a sculpture the first one is going to be literally outside their house the second one is going to be in the corner of the beach very similar to where the uh, noodle bar runners uh, trainers were, were positioned before now the third one can only be completed if you've uh, completed the race tiebreaker because you need to go to the secret beach and if you've completed the construction employee of the year to unlock the the, the bakery um, so this actually is a quest you can only complete at this point if you complete those two other trophies and it'll just be the final six sitting on the, the end of the beach. Pick that up, go back to the carpenter, and talk to them for a little bit. They'll build you a, a sculpture out of the wood, and the trophy will be complete. Peach Hunter. For this, if you, you head into the Oni Island, and you head to the main area, uh, in the central area, and head, head south, and you'll see a team of players near the leaderboard with a player missing. Um, if you accept to help them find the player, uh, you then will head to uh, Fakuro's Mountain. And on Fakuro's Mountain, you'll see now there's a, there's a, a line of peaches uh, leading you towards a house on the uh, eastern side of the mountain. And you must get each peach in order. And once you collect the final peach, the missing um, rugby player will appear. He'll be visiting his parents. So just talk to him for a little bit and he'll, he'll go back to Oni Island. You can then revisit Oni Island, talk to the same person there, 
So there'll be a little little bit of celebration. He'll give you a peach and you'll get your trophy. Bakery estate agent. So this is quite a curious one. You need to head off to the uh, north east of the Oni Island. You'll see a small hut there. And there's a somewhat distraught looking Oni who wants to become a baker. Do you agree to help him uh, complete this dream? Uh, and once again, to complete this, you'll have to have completed the uh, Construction Employee of the Year uh, quest to unlock access to the bakery. And um, we then go to the bakery in Tanuki City. You can warp straight there, no problem. And that should again be behind the uh, traffic cones and so on. Once you enter the bakery, this time you're going to talk to the monkey, the owner of the, the shop. And he'll start to talk a bit about retirement. And the correct dialogue that you need to select is um, he's an Oni, because there was a, he was concerned about... Um, he only was concerned about uh, some sort of prejudice or, or whatever about his appearance. But anyway, the correct order, the correct one you choose is he's an Oni. Maybe it doesn't make a difference. I've always chose that one. And yeah, then you just, once that's been accepted, head back to the Oni's hut. Talk to the Oni for one final time. And you'll see that uh, he'll move into the bakery and the, the monkey will move into his house. So they do a bit of an NPC swap here. And just to complete the trophy, go back to the bakery and talk to the Oni. Just to be sure that the trophy has been accepted. Catnap Enabler. Now you may have noticed on Oni Beach, uh, sorry, on the Oni Island, there is a cat just sleeping there. And if you talk to him, he'll just give you a bunch of Z's or he'll, he won't say anything particular. But to get this trophy, you've actually just got to continue talking to him and continue annoying him until he gives you no new dialogue. And he'll reveal to you that he's actually um, one of the original so-called champions of the uh, island but was too lazy to compete in the, any of the events. And once he reveals that information to you, you've actually got the trophy. Lighter of Lanterns. Right, once you're in the Bamboo Village, head directly east and you'll find a yellow fox just sitting on the edge of the, the map, essentially. And they'll tell you that if you light um, the, the lanterns in the center of the town, a, a spirit will appear or something to that effect. Very easy to do. Just talk to the four lanterns. They'll light up individually. And once you've completed this, you'll actually unlock a new gate to allow you to, to uh, play the tennis game on a medium difficulty level where you've increased from, I believe, 30 uh, points up to 50 points. And once you've uh, unlocked the gate, you don't need to go into the gate, you've actually got your trophy. Very simple quest. Rain Stopper. Quite a curious one, and the whole city is abandoned via rain. So if you talk to the frog on the on the eastern side, on the bridge that is flooded, he'll tell you that the rain is an issue, um, you'll accept the quest from him. And from there, you want to go behind the main temple in, this, in the village, and you'll see there's a water spirit of some kind behind there. You talk to him, and he actually wants to leave the village, but he needs a ticket from the Tanuki City train station. So you're going to go to the ticket master, who's going to be in the north of uh, Tanuki City. He's right there, right beside the, um, uh, the the train tracks itself. So you're going to talk to him after accepting the after accepting the quest. Unfortunately, all the tickets are sold out. So then you have to go. The only way to get them is a promotion from the the noodle bar. So then from there you want to go to the noodle bar which is just directly south of the ticket station. It's not an issue to find at all. And this time you're going to talk to the, the noodle owner and he'll tell you that he's running a promotion and he doesn't have any issue giving you the ticket you need. And it's just a series of dialogue. Then you head back to uh, the village, the bamboo village. Talk to the rain spirit for one last time and he'll move on and you'll get your trophy. Once you've actually talked to the uh, rain spirit and made him move on, you'll unlock a hard difficulty gate for the tennis area which will actually have 100 points instead of 50 instead of 30 so you actually once completing that trophy you'll actually unlock a gate which is kind of interesting wind stopper so this one can actually be a little bit tricky to uh, start off if you don't know where to look but you need to go to the um one of the huts in the abandoned village the, which is on, on the eastern eastern most eastern side right beside the frog talk to the yellow fox He'll tell you that the city is having issues, or the village is having issues, with uh, wind and from uh, uh, Tengu. And so go to Tengu's temple. You'll find him there. He'll be sleeping. Try and steal his special fan that he uses for tennis. And you need to select that you just were admiring it. That's a very beautiful fan. And from there, he'll actually ask you to do a side quest um, for his invisibility cloak. They have a tangent, but that's what he asks you to do. And once you've accepted that, you will look for his invisibility cloak. You'll head out of the temple. And they can be really tricky to see because it's actually an invisible item. If you look very closely in the most western quadrant, just as you leave the temple, you'll notice some sort of sparkling creature there between two, uh, two ruined lanterns or two stone, two stone pillars. And it'll actually be the octopus who stole the invisibility cloak. Just talk to him for a little bit. He'll give you the cloak. 
uh, back to uh, Tengu in his temple, try to steal the fan again, but this time he will actually in engage in a dialogue where he will trade you the uh, in uh, the fan from the invisibility cloak, except he doesn't. Instead you ask him nicely just to stop using his wind power to ruin the village. And with that you actually complete the tro you complete the quest and you get the trophy. Ghostly delivery! By far the uh, most uh, distressing quest in the, in the game. Heading to Bridge Garden, you want to go to the second house on the western side of the Bridge Garden. It's the only one that's occupied. You'll see a ghost sitting in the center of the room. It's the mother of a son who's gone missing. Once you've accepted the quest, you then have to look for a letter. Very easy to find. Head to the south of the bridge garden, and you'll see a letter sitting between two uh, stone pillars, and that will give you access to the underwater castle. From the underwater castle, you'll see the son sitting on the uh, right-hand side of the, the only room in the castle. Talk for him for a little bit, and he will then give you some dialogue, uh, wishing his mother well. And just before we go, you notice that there's actually a... Um, door to the uh, left hand side which appears to be open ajar. If you go in there you'll actually have ac access to a secret gate just to mention it there whilst we're in the underwater ca castle. Now we'll head back to the mother and hand in the quest and uh, she'll disappear and the trophy will be yours. Sister Reunion Organizer. This one will have you going all over the place. First you need to go to you need to go to the most west side of the bridge garden. It doesn't even look like you can access this area. Just keep walking west and you'll find a broken gate and a turtle there who will tell you more about the gate. He'll then describe to you that it was ran by three sisters who are dotted all over the map. So accept the quest and the first one you want to go to is actually sitting on Marathon Beach. So we go straight there and you'll find them in the second hut beside the uh, carpenter. And they'll make, uh, you'll talk to them for a little bit and they will be somewhat reluctant to go back to the old bridge garden gate. And the, the correct dialogue to select is discipline. Once you've selected that, they'll jump to, they'll jump to the gate and they'll recommend that you find the next sister at the top of Fukuro Mountain. So from the, uh, beach, uh, just do a warp to the, to the mountain and head west and if you keep heading west there'll be a little path to follow that will eventually lead up to the north and into a cave. Head up through the cave on the north side and you'll eventually find your way out of the cave. It's just a one room area and up to the top and you'll find the second sister. And the correct dialect to choose in this case is money and that'll get her to teleport to the gate and she'll redirect you to the final location and the most difficult one to find in Tanuki Village for the final uh, sister. So you really have to keep your eyes peeled for this one. So we're going to warp right there, and uh, if you do the warp, you head directly north in a Tanoki city, and you keep looking on your on the eastern side for a small path, uh, an area that doesn't even look like you can access. You can see a little kappa there, and uh, head inside the building there, and you'll find the final sister. And in this case, the correct dialogue to choose is uh, I heard first, and then respect. And that will get her to teleport to, to her sisters. Finally, to complete this trophy, you have to go back to Bridge Garden, talk to the turtle one more time um, on the uh, on the western island. And once you do that, you'll see that the gate is resurrected and you actually have unlocked the, uh, a third mini-game area for the Bridge Garden. And each of these different gates that you've unlocked, one from Ghostly Delivery and one from the Sister Reunion, um, both of them have different uh, tracks and are different, uh, different versions of the Beats game itself. Hermit Enabler. So we have a quirky little quest to do now, where we head to the docks, and the first little boathouse on the left hand side of the main temple, the main castle, you'll see a little hedgehog, and accepting his, his favour to go and pick up some item, uh, undescribed, from a shop in on Oni Island, and the shop is located just directly east, just going as far east as you can, near the, the champion cat, and just above the, uh, the red gym. You see a small hut, and in there you'll find a key master, and you'll accept. Uh, you'll talk to him for a little bit, and he'll deli he'll give you the order for the uh, hedgehog, and then you have to go back to the docks, talk to the hedgehog, and once you once you've handed in those locks and keys, the second you leave the uh, boathouse, the hedgehog will actually lock you out, and with that you've completed your, your trophy. Royal Arrow Collector Intern. Right to get this trophy, talk to the uh, pig standing outside of the main temple, and he'll ask you to help him with the. Uh, various arrows that are around the town. A second you accept this quest, one will appear directly underneath your feet, so you can just collect that one. Another will appear to your uh, left, and these arrows appear as you collect them. They don't appear, so you, ha you must collect them in this order. 
Then from there, we're going to continue moving uh, leftwards through the town, heading north. You'll find another arrow sitting on the docks. We'll then head to the arrow shop on the eastern side for the arrow number four. And then finally, we'll actually we'll actually end up exiting the, the uh, docks. Passing the gate, keep heading on the east, and you'll see uh, the final arrow uh, isolated here on the uh, on a small bank embankment. And then with that, we've got our five arrows. We can go back to the pig, hand in our quest, and you've got your trophy. Lucky Arrow Retriever. For this, you need to go to the uh, north eastern side of the docks and talk to the fish, and it'll tell you about a arrow that he's lost by shooting it at the top of the castle. Once you've accepted the quest. Go to the into the castle. Keep heading up north through the castle, and you'll get to, you'll eventually get to the top uh, room. Once you uh, you'll, you'll eventually get up to the top room of the castle on the outside. From there, you'll be able to find the missing arrow sitting there, right on your uh, left hand side. Exit the castle. Talk to the fish. He'll tell you he doesn't want the arrow anymore. But once you've gone through your dialogue, you'll have got your trophy. Trophy master locator. So you can only get this trophy if you've already completed every other trophy in the game. So that you must complete all the other quests before accepting this one, before it even open for you. What you then do is you go into the trophy house, which is on the north east side of the center of the in the center of the the, the island, and uh, you'll see the crane there. You'll have all the trophies, and just talk to the one uh, the one the one pedestal uh, where there is no trophy. You then need to tell the the crane what is what's this. Because it's something there's a suspicious uh, dialogue there. When you go outside, you'll be met by two gargoyle, gargoyles sitting out the trophy room that were not there before. So talk to the two gargoyles, and they'll tell you that the person inside is an imposter, and they'll actually block you from entering the trophy room. Now you're really into the quest full swing, and the two gargoyles will actually direct you to talk to a, a cat, because the, uh, the actual trophy master is a cat. This will then direct you to go to Oni Island, where you talk to the sleeping champion. So you go to Oni Island. Go to the Red Team's Gym on the uh, eastern quadrant of the map and just uh, talk to the, the sleeping cat as normal. And from there, he'll tell you that he is not the uh, Trophy Master, but that he the last time you heard from the Trophy Master, they were in the docks. And we'll go to the most northeastern uh, boathouse. It actually has a giant water hole in it, but this time it will be... There will actually be a whirlpool in the center of the room. So from this stage, you want to actually... Once you've accepted yes, you'll enter, you want to enter the whirlpool once you do, spoilers, um, you'll then meet uh, the Trophy Master, who turns out to be Momo, who is a cat from a different Google Doodle game called Halloween Magic Cat Academy. And you'll have a brief, dia brief fourth wall breaking dialogue with him, where he's actually playing you, and the reason he's gone missing is because he was playing your the, the Champion Island video game too long, trying to complete all the quests and all the missions. And after a brief dialogue with him, you'll, he'll, be, uh, he'll accept that he needs to go back to the Trophy House. Talk to him in the trophy house, and I'm not even sure if that part is necessary, but he'll be in the trophy house and you'll have all your trophies. And with that, my friends, you have actually completed every single uh, trophy in Champion Island. I've been your I've been your game master, Jolo, and uh, if you enjoyed this series, I've actually put up a few uh, Let's Play based series on the Google Doodle Champion Island games if you want to take a look at them. Um, otherwise, I hope you found this useful and hit the like button if you did. I'll talk to you guys later. For all of you who watched the end of the video, there's actually an Easter egg um, in the game regarding the Kappas. The Kappas are known for being only saying one word. You talk to them and just say Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. I don't know if that's a Twitch reference or what it's a reference to, but there's actually one Kappa in the game who actually is having an existential crisis. So if you go to, um, you start heading towards the docks. But before you arrive to the docks, you'll notice there's a cap is standing on his own to the south. So you take the path to the south, and you'll open up a dialogue, which I'll probably add to the video as well, just talking about the like how he's envious of his, his uh, the other cappers who are not as self-aware as he is, and how lucky you are to uh, not be aware of your own accidental dread. So it's a bit of a strange one, and a bit of a strange inclusion, but it's an easter egg nonetheless.